Castle Shikigami 2 for the PS2. A little bit of research led me to discover that this game came out close to the end of the PS2's life cycle, and was actually available for only $10. If price is any indication of quality, then this game should have been considered the bottom of the barrel, or better yet, the scum that gets left on the bottom of the barrel when all the good games and bad games have already been scooped away. Maybe I'm being too hard on the game. There are some redeeming factors here that should be considered. Castle Shigami 2 is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up, which is actually a favorite genre of mine. A varying cast of characters who serve no purpose other than to offer a different visual appeal do serve to give you different types of weapons for your ship or watch or character. Plain old straightforward shots, the vastly superior wave beam approach, and the completely useless shot that arcs left or right depending on which way you move. You know, I thought we abandoned movement and firing being the same button a few generations ago, but apparently not. Each character also has a unique special move that is good for close range combat, and when things get a little hairy, a bomb can be used to wipe out all enemies and bullets on the screen. Pretty standard affair for bullet hell shoot 'em ups. I think it's also a requirement that shooters that come from Japan have to contain atrocious voice acting. Castle Shikigami 2 takes the bad voice acting to a whole new level. Just listen. Life gets tougher. Life means pain. Why? Still want to live? Why? Might! I can see their fate locked in chains of sorrow. I'm an Oligus Dundian. Warrior and keeper of the castle! Warrior, let's fight. I accept. I'm Kim of two homes and seven moms. Fight for revenge? It's a sin. Tough! Forgive me. A prayer for your soul. Okay. Maybe not so bad. Not so bad at all. I mean, did they even translate that coherently? I really feel that even I could have done a better job than this. But on the bright side, this makes the game way better. You know, maybe they're going for that, trying to give the game a comedic appeal. And since stages are literally a minute or two minute and a half long, you'll be hearing these voices almost constantly. Awesome! And while we're on the topic of crazy, I ran across something peculiar in the options menu. There's an option to shift the scrolling of the game from the standard vertical scroll to a horizontal scroll, but when you make the switch, you're prompted with this screen. Why in the hell would anyone do this? Not only would this likely damage your monitor or TV screen, but it doesn't even make the game a horizontal shooter. It just makes the screen appear longer, but still vertical. Also, when the game came out, not many people would have had flat screens and probably instead had those bulky 30-pound TVs, which couldn't even tip to the side because you'd break it. This is the only game I can think of that actually has you move your TV to alter the game, and not even alter it. I mean, why not have us lay on our backs and play? Then everything is moving backwards! Whoa! Castle Shikigami 2 isn't that great of a title, and there are much better games out there that can give you the same and better experience. Radiant Silver Gun is a good one that just came out, and if you still want to retain the obnoxious voice acting, then give Trouble Witches Neo a try. Both games are on the Xbox 360. There are some games that are better off left in the past than brought back up. Sorry, Castle Shikigami 2. <laughs>